Jeez! Ryan, come and look at this! We've been hanging out in Fakarava in the Tuamotus for about a week now and we filled up all our water tanks before we came in here and then soon after our water maker stopped working. But luckily um, we've made some friends in the harbor and these particular friends are crew on this incredibly swanky carbon fiber 140 foot beast of a racing boat. And uh, we had the engineer on board yesterday. And this is the low pressure, this is the high pressure. He was trying to help us with our water maker and was not successful. But he did offer that we could fill up whatever, um, you know, buckets and uh, carriers that we have. And we thought that was a very generous offer. And I think we're going to take him up on it. <laughs> Amazing girls. 140 feet. Looks amazing. How much do you think it's worth? Obviously, it would be nice if we could fix the water maker, but I think that's above my pay grade. I just wish I had their garage. These people are really, really nice. It just goes to show, even rich people are nice. Or at least they're crew are. Liters done. I have wrapped up my zucchini cake to bring over to the crew of Sarissa, and we're gonna see if we can pick up another 110 liters. Almost full. Uh, how are we going? Well, we have a full tank now, and between that and being very conservative and also catching rainwater when it rains, I think we should last quite a while. What do you reckon? 20 days, 30 days? <laughs> hmm. Three maybe. weeks. 20, 30 days. If we had crew on board, we'd last maybe half a day. <laughs> so now we have full tanks of water on board, which is uh, 750 liters of drinking water. So we actually end up having an extra uh, 15 liters here and a half a bucket of good drinking water there. We also have these jerry cans. They've got one, two, three, plus a fourth one here. So we can only use that for showering, uh, maybe for the dishes as well. Bit of a smell of diesel in it because we're using diesel jerry cans to fill it up. So we have in total about 780 litres of good drinking water and another 80 litres of like showering water. How long do you think that would last you? We probably shower with about 10 to 15 litres uh, max. So we hope it's going to last us 20 to 30 days. We'll, we'll see how we get on. Five. I think I can shower with five litres. You think you can shower with five litres? Mm -hmm. Is that why you smell so much? Massive, massive thank you to the crew of Sarissa and to Sarah Murdoch and her semi-famous husband for being so generous to let us have all that fresh water. We're probably good now to sail through these atolls for maybe another, maybe another three weeks with the water we have. Um, and then that gives us some sort of deadline to get to Tahiti to get the water maker fixed. Water, snacks. Nuts. Oil. No. Do we have enough oil to do this? Engine oil? No. Extra virgin olive oil. Oh. Uh, we have one big one. How long will that last us? A long time between you and me. I think that's it then, Tash. All right. Let's make it happen. Make it so. We have the list. 
today is an exciting day in Fakarava. It's always exciting whenever the uh, cargo ship arrives from Tahiti on any one of these islands. The store is full up with all kinds of crazy goodies and you're like, ah, lettuce and fresh food and it uh, becomes a bit of a, a shopping frenzy. So today is the day that the ship has come into port and we're gonna go to town and see what kind of goodies we can get off the boat uh, in the few tiny little shops that there are in town. Also, it's that. Do you wanna lock up? Are all these bags coming with us? Some wind coming in the next few days. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good sailing wind or bad storm wind? Uh, well, it'd be good sailing wind to go south. It's not a one-way traffic with these boats. There's actually three things they do. The cargo comes in from Tahiti. Two. There's actually 11 bunks on this boat, so it's actually a cheap way to get around the islands as well. And then third, which we're seeing here, is that the copra, which is basically from the meat of a coconut, which uh, gets produced here on the island and then gets sent over to Tahiti, where it gets processed and then gets shipped out to wherever it needs to go around the world. This turns up in the store. Fresh food all around. We'll come back for it. We'll show on the way later. How many crabs do you want, babe, that will last? Um, so four? Yeah, I get like four. And the cucumbers and the peppers. Oh, look at all that fresh veg. I didn't grab any tomatoes. Tomatoes? Tomatoes. How much did that come to? 4,000. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great. It's about $40 worth of veg. That'll get us, last us a couple of weeks. Yeah. We just got here, where are you going? <laughs> okay, so we've heard there's lettuce available in one of the stores we've not been to this morning and it's gonna sell out within the next hour. So I'm off on a mission to try and find some lettuce before they sell out. All right, Gotta well, go. while you do that, I'll check in on my video yep. upload. Go, 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 get the lettuce. Did you get the lettuce? Was there a lot left? I got two lettuce, two more peppers, two aubergines. Ooh, aubergine. <laughs> aubergines. Eggplant. Eggplant, whatever. So that's us having finished our business at the Fakarava Yacht Services. Uh, it always takes about five times longer to do anything on the internet than you think it will here, because it is rather slow. But after two nights and one day, it turned out the video that we uploaded has completed. So we have a few more odds and ends to do before we can fully go off the grid. We're almost there. We're almost ready to leave almost civilization. Oh, 
Oh, pretty. Can I start with you? Yes. Finally, we are ready to move. Um, we've been in this one spot for a fair while now, and we're starting to get that itch, which happens sometimes when we sit still for a while we then feel like it's time to go on a new adventure. So we are heading out today to the South Pass of Fakarava, where apparently there is some of the most amazing diving in the world, swimming with sharks. Um, it's protected by UNESCO as a dive site, so it should be pretty spectacular. Oh, where are you going? Going down to the transmission fluid. There you go, it's Tasha. In paradise. We actually, I calculated, it's been a month. We've been here for a month. Whoa. What's happening? Do I get No? You got it? Down turn. Yeah. Are you always this demanding? Where are we? We're in Fakarava North. Where are we going? Can you say we are going to Fakarava South? We are going to Fakarava South. Why are we going? We're going so that I can go diving with sharks. How excited are you? I'm very excited. I've never dived with sharks before. Oh, well, I've seen sharks while diving, but I've not seen lots of sharks. <laughs> Not phased at all by this journey, are you? After a month in Fakarava North, we've arrived to Fakarava South. We came so far, a whole 15 nautical miles. Were you expecting to have company in this anchorage? Well, there must be something about this little resort. Maybe they have Wi-Fi. I'm thinking they do. It's a little bit crazy, but we just arrived to the dock in uh, this random place. We don't even really know where we are. And it 
the guy who met us on the dock, we knew from uh, uh, Fatu Hiva. We had invited him on board for a party, and he's here now working. He's been living here for a few months, so we're gonna go check out their place. Oh, wow! This is your place? This oh, is fucking cool. Very sweet. So, what's this guy's name? Hey there. Yeah, what's her name? That's a girl. Kira. 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 Hey, Kira. Oh, you're friendly, huh? Yeah? Oh, hey there, puppy. Oh my god. So friendly. Hi. Hey, man, how's it going? Oh, How are you? Come on, Kira. What is it? You screw it in, it's boring, you screw it into the ground. Wow! So they used to use like big lumps of concrete, but now they don't, they screw them in. Better for the environment, apparently. God, the light here in the evening is amazing. Hey, puppy. Hey there. Well, come give me a cuddle. Yeah. Who's a good dog? Yeah. <laughs> Doing, Celia? You watching the birds? So there's been a crazy sound going off all morning, and every time you come up, you get a little bit more freaked out. There's like a hat, a hit oh, up there they are! <laughs> <gasps> Something's going on. I don't know what it is. The cats don't seem remotely bothered, but these birds, yeah. If you had that terrifying Hitchcock moment, and you're a little bit scared. You would not want to be around here right now. Cameron's struggling. Oh, there they go again. Good job. <laughs> what you doing there, birdies? Tasha here saying hi from Lake Tahoe. Um, I know you guys have been wondering for a while where the videos are and where they're going. Um, I have taken some time out. Ryan and I have split up. We are getting a divorce and Cheeky Monkey is sadly for sale. But good news for one of you lucky folk who might want to buy it. You can check out the advertisement on Chase's Story Facebook page. And in the meantime, I will be finishing out the stories of Cheeky Monkey and Chase's story and I will be continuing on to my own adventures which I will be talking to you about very soon uh, but I thought it would be important to kind of let you know what's going on so that's why the videos have been put on pause and it's been um, it's been hard for me to edit them considering what's been going on this last year but I'm back into it and hoping to bring you those stories and hopefully more adventures to come and I appreciate all of the messages on Facebook saying hi and giving your support and if if it's okay with you I'm not going to share with you the details of uh, you know what's gone on in the last year but slowly slowly it will come out so keep an eye on Chase's Story Facebook page and the YouTube channel and um, of course there's me and my blog at turf2surf.com thank you I'll see you soon